Are you ready? Are you steady? Do you want to sacrifice? To bend your life across the bedrock unless we forget this is a magic trick, its essence is illusion. We keep certain things secret because that is what the good people want, that's what the people pay for, to be deceived. We keep the audience in the dark, we keep the players guessing. We never let them know what we hold in our hands, we never let them know what may never be and what will always remain. When we let them think nothing, we let them think anything. To break the spell is the ultimate shame. To rock the boat is cause for disdain. To shatter the stone brings curious pain. So instead, we sit in stunned silence, with quiet violence, gathering our thoughts, awaiting judgment, like everybody else. The audience must not be members of the Insiders Club. They must not be in on the joke. To let them trickle out of the trance is to fail. So they flunk the magician. They reject the scene. Because to let the audience squirm free from their suspension of disbelief is to upset the great equilibrium and annihilate the illusion. Best to be avoided, for it causes confusion. Then you lose the collusion. Instead of the audience inviting you in, they reject the intrusion. Nobody wants to see the machine for all its tainted glory. They mask the machine because it is grotesque and inelegant. The machine marches over its masters. The audience is not interested in the machine and we don't want them to be. Instead, we redirect attention. See how so many more marvel at the curtains, the glorious curtains, the mysterious ruby red curtains. See them, almost iridescent, fluttering, sparkling and swooshing. The brilliant shimmering curtains that hide all that you don't want to know and only reveal that to which you are accustomed. The curtains that bleed disbelief. They keep you ensconced, sheltered and safe. A call in which you remain forever dressed to bathe. That which keeps you in the warmth of the womb, your comfy cave. That which sets you free to act like a slave. To have choice over circumstance is the supreme luxury. Let's pretend that you do. Let's pretend that you are the decider of your own destiny. How do you choose it? What sets your limitations? Who determines your endpoint? Why don't you know any better? And more importantly, why don't you know any worse? Who gave you your goodness, gracious? Who gave you your laugh? Who made you stare? Who made you pull out all of your hair? Who is what molded you? You're the purposeful byproduct of who, and you never get to choose who that is.